Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler. This is Anfield on a very emotional afternoon for Liverpool Football Club and all their followers. Liverpool against Norwich City this afternoon, the last match here to be watched by supporters standing on the cop. The famous terracing behind the right-hand goal as we look. The Rodgers and Hammerstein song, You'll Never Walk Alone, the Anfield anthem, the battle cry from the cop. Liverpool supporters have been famous all over the world for the passion of their support from this part of the ground but also for their humour and wit as well. And these have been the magical moments leading up to the kickoff with a parade of former star players from many generations. And now it's Liverpool who've given the ball away to Ekoku. With great acceleration here. Oh! Steve Nicol, so close to an own goal. Some of the Norwich players were appealing that the ball, in fact, had actually gone in. But Efan Akoku turned on the heat there. Whelan. Free kick to Liverpool. Akoku's cross here, off the head of Nicol. The ball down. My word, that was very close. Oh, he's allowed the game to go on here at Jamie Redknapp. The ball's rolled round, gone, and Redknapp couldn't squeeze it in. It was awfully difficult from that angle. But Norwich taken aback at the speed of movement from Liverpool at the initial free kick, but just too much asked of Redknapp as the ball was rolling towards the goal line. Alathorne, naturally left-footed. And getting a good angle for the cross, Ekoku. Oh, and a terrific save by David James from Chris Sutton. All on the cop will have appreciated that. Sutton, as he was fouled by Ruddock. Crook with the free kick. Redknapp did well to get his head to it. Jeremy Goss. Hallows in. A glorious goal at the cop end for Norwich City. It looked as though with Redknapp and Clough they've got the danger away from the free kick, but Goss seized on the ball and slammed it past James. Redknapp with the corner. Ruddock rising. Good try. From one of the new heroes here. Sutton. Might go it alone here, did Dix deliberately bring him down? He didn't feel so, but Brian Hill, the referee, did. James almost on the edge of his skull area. Ian Crook, a set-piece specialist, trying to chip him! Well, had that been a foot or so the other way, there was absolutely nothing he could have done about it. Barnes, Nicholl spending more and more time forward, and Sutton took his eye off Rob Jones and somehow Norwich have survived Goss for Sutton first to get to him is Dix or now Whelan as Sutton bent his run and leaves them both he's got Ekoku to tee up here still effort Ekoku James pushed it out and pushed it away from Sutton Woodthorpe takes well, it hasn't gone according to the script. Liverpool lose in their last match in front of the cop, as we've all known it. Norwich City have taken on a tide of emotion here, as well as the redoubtable Reds, and earned, in its own way, an extraordinary victory. In some ways, it will never be the same again here. The tightly packed partisans will be a thing of the past. But... The people on the cop have made it world famous. Witty, roguish, always roaring on the Reds. These people will be back. The challenge now for the fans to make the new stand and the atmosphere created from it just as intoxicating as before. As the curtain comes down on the cop,
Liverpool have lost to Norwich City by one goal to nil.